Hey guys, so Apple has now officially released iOS 18.3 for everyone to download as of today. Now in this video, I wanted to go over a few things I think everyone should do right after updating to iOS 18.3. Now the software download is anywhere from seven to eight gigs on some devices to update, but keep in mind, this is going to be simply overwriting the entire operating system. So you're not going to be losing any additional storage from your device. That is a question that I typically get. However, I want to go ahead and talk to those of you running the beta software on your device, iOS 18.3 betas or RC, which was released last week. Apple did issue a new build number, which allows you to get the new wallpapers for Unity and watch faces. And if you want that final build number, the first thing you should do after you update, again, this is for those running beta software only, you want to head on over into general and settings go under software update and right here where it says beta updates you want to make sure you turn off betas and then go back and refresh and iOS 18.3 the official final build should populate and again this will give you the new unity watch face and wallpapers made available as of today now obviously once you update to the official release if you want to continue using betas you want to make sure you go back once again and select that beta option so that you continue with future iOS 18.4 betas and beyond if you wish to do that. Now, something else that I always recommend everyone to do in this portion of the video is for all my new subscribers, okay? So all my long-term subscribers, if you subscribed here for years or months, you probably already know about this, so you can skip this part of the video. But for all my new subscribers, we had about 6,000 last month. Two things I always recommend is number one, jump into the App Store, head on over into your account here, and then refresh. Now there might be new app updates available for you even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled on your iPhone. Now the reason you wanna update your third-party applications as soon as possible is so that you can prevent any crashing or overheating. You know, in the past we've seen third-party applications causing problems such as overheating, freezing, and crashing. So make sure that you update all your third-party applications right after you update to 18.3. Something else I always recommend to all my subscribers is to jump into settings, go into general, right after you update to 18.3, you may see a carrier update populate for you in this portion of your screen that looks a little something like this. Now, obviously, if you get this pop-up, you wanna make sure that you update your carrier settings. Not everyone will see this, but if you do see it, obviously, you wanna make sure that you update those carrier settings for better network performance on your device with the latest 18.3. Now, if you have an iPhone 16 or 16 Pro, Visual Intelligence just received a new update with iOS 18.3. You can now add events to your calendar using Visual Intelligence by pointing your iPhone over to a flyer, or you can also identify plants and animals. So you can now identify plants animals and add events to your calendar using visual intelligence on iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. Now with iOS 18.3, Apple also added a new Genmoji extension to messages. So if you go into the plus icon here for your menu, if you scroll down after you update to 18.3, you'll find the new Genmoji extension. And if you wanna move it up to the top so that you can use it more often, you can do that just like so. And now you have the emoji option directly within the actual sub menus in messages and it will bring you to the Genmoji creation menu as you can see right here. So something that I recommend everyone to look into if you like creating new Genmojis on your iPhone and now you have that new extension there in messages. And for those of you using notification summaries, you can now go ahead and manage those directly from the lock screen by swiping to the left and under the options, you see here that you can now manage all your notification summaries directly from the lock screen of your device. And that's everything I recommend you do right after you update to iOS 18.3. Not a major software update in terms of features, but I'll continue to follow up with you guys in the next couple of days we'll talk about battery performance and everything else in between so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned thank you for watching enjoy the software update and i'll see you guys real soon peace